Hey everybody, Jillian here. Welcome back to my channel. So this is another Bible journaling process video featuring the In Christ daily scripture cards that Brave Little Taylor did for Illustrated Faith. As a community, we worked through them during the Lenten um, period uh, in 2021, but I am just working on them as I need to be reminded of my identity in Christ and I love these. So I'm in my illustrating Bible and I've got some of my supplies that I want to use off to the left there. I decided to use this triangle gel plate with my brayer and some acrylic paint to um, get a really pretty background on the page for this entry in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. So this day was all about how in Christ we are a new creation. So I pulled this really pretty butterfly from the butterflies that came with kit two of Camp Wonder. And these colors were my inspiration. So I grabbed some coordinating label stickers, acrylic paints in those colors to work on my page today. It has been a while since I've used a gel plate. So I'm kind of remembering as I go about what I need to do here. I grabbed a stencil, some orange acrylic paint, white acrylic paint to tone down this color orange because it wasn't a perfect match for that butterfly. And then I'm using my brayer to spread that all over the gel plate. And then I like to have the scrap paper there off to the right to clean off the brayer. And then I put a little bit of pink on there and just to mix that in and give it a good blend. And then I put this stencil down on top and then I pulled the acrylic paint that would peek through the stencil. And I got a great print from that. And then um, I'm left with the negative space on, of the stencil on my gel plate. And I wanted to kind of stamp that down onto my page. I'm using a large acrylic block to hold the gel plate in place. And you can almost use it like a stamp, which is really cool. I didn't love that impression. So I thought I would try again with um, some different colors, yellow and pink, repeating the same steps, this time without the stencil. So again, Using it like a stamp, I'm just going to layer it on top, and it's, this is not going well. <laughs> so I'm going to pause here and regroup. Now to achieve the effect that I was going for and to cover some of this up, I'm not sure why I used air quotes there, um, <laughs> I grabbed some more acrylic paint, washi tape, and paintbrushes and markers to cover this up still in the colors that I was going for. I'm not going for precision here. I, as you can see, I'm just squirting paint on the page and moving it around with the paintbrush. <laughs> I didn't even bother to grab my paint palette. So the name of the game now is layers, all about layers. So if one doesn't look good, I can just keep layering on top of it, no big deal. To help speed up the drying process, I'm going to grab my heat tool to dry this paint so I can continue to build layers on top of it. I have some of this solid colored MT washi tape or masking tape that was in the Illustrated Faith shop. I believe this mustard color is the only one that's still available. But this is one of the colors that I was going for. So I'm just creating color blocks on my page using the washi tape. And then to add some fun art marks and interesting layers, I'm using some magenta or fuchsia colored craft paint. This is super cheap from Hobby Lobby, I think. And I'm just painting little art marks. And I've never used washi tape in this way, and it's really fun. So I plan to, in the future, um, kind of experiment a little more with washi tape and using it more of in a, a mixed media way with different things like paint and markers um, because this was really fun and easy. This kind of breaks the formula that I had been going for with these um, In Christ cards. I was aiming for simple, but I knew that when I put those gel plate prints on my page that simple was out the window. I definitely wanted to cover that up. And so washi tape to the rescue. So if while you're in the creative throes of making your Bible journaling page and maybe you paint something that you didn't mean to or you don't really like the way that something turned out, I just want you to be encouraged. It can almost always be covered. And that's part of the fun problem-solving creative challenge is um, figuring out a solution for that. To add a little more interest and some pattern, I'm using some of my favorite black ray washi tape from Illustrated Faith. This is no longer in stock, which bums me out because I'm almost done with this roll. So I'm going to email Shauna when I'm done with this video and ask her to consider restocking it. So 
keep an eye out for it if it's something that you're interested in also. Next, I just wanted to draw some boxes. Not sure what I'm going to put in here at this point, but I thought it was a fun look. This is a Zig vellum writer. It is made for writing on top of paint and gesso and other types of mixed media elements. And it's made so that the nib of the pen won't get torn up when it's going over like rougher areas. And I really like it. I haven't been able to find it online. I grabbed it at my local craft store, but I'll link something similar in the video description below. If you too don't want to mess up your good pens <laughs> working on top of mixed media. So next up, I'm going to grab my butterfly and my little title starter here from, from Taylor, uh, the ubiquitous butterfly for 2 Corinthians 5.17, which is totally fine. I have found that when I come to this passage, something different typically stands out to me. It's not the same old, same old every time I read it, which is really exciting. And so in this entry, I wanted to document that something different that stood out to me this time. And that is in, I think it's chapter 15. I'll start in verse 14, though, of 2 Corinthians 5. It says, For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh, we regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. So to fill in that box up towards the top, I decided to use this older number stencil um, to point out chapter 5, verse 15. And I'm just putting my pen through the stencil to outline those numbers because that's the verse that I wanted to focus on. What really stood out to me is that we are a new creation, not to live for ourselves, but that we would live for Christ. This beauty that's in our life now, these beautiful butterfly colors, aren't for us. They're for him and for others to point back to him, to show others that he has made us new. And so that's what my journaling is about here, just that reminder that I am no longer living for myself. Taylor on her card also points out Romans chapter 6, verse 4, and Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2 for additional reading to go along with the theme of being a new creation in Christ. She says, my old way of life is dead. It has no power over me. So I'm flipping through my stamp binder here and I was looking for something to add towards the bottom because I knew that I wasn't going to take up the rest of that margin with my journaling. And so I settled on these stamps that Elaine Davis did for the Illustrated Faith Shop. I'm not sure if they're available, but you could use word fetty in a similar way. I just used these sentiments to punctuate my journaling. I also grabbed my trusty Word Nerd stamp set to stamp a big old amen at the bottom of that. And then I love this little bit that has a spot for book chapter verse. And so I used a pigment ink from Studio Calico. I love having all of my colors swatched here. So when I'm in the middle of a project, I can just hold it up to what I've already got on my page and see what will work best. I'm using a Coral Bay uh, pigment ink to stamp down um, a stamp so that I can note those additional verses in Romans. I ended up adding my roller date stamp to that little box towards the bottom. I love having an idea of when I, you know, worked on these pages and was journaling and thinking about these things. And then I'm going to use these stamps from Elaine just to dot the very bottom of the page there. And lastly, I've been using these index tabs for each of the In Christ entries. And so I'm going to do that again today, grabbing those same washi tapes that I used earlier on my page. And I kind of like to decorate them in a way that coordinates with what I did in the margin. So I'm um, just going to cover a little piece of paper with those washi tapes. And then I ran in my typewriter a piece of paper just to type out the word new creation. I will adhere that to the washi tape that I stuck down and then slip that in the little index tab slot. And that is going to do it. I'll just go ahead and adhere that to the top and that's it. So I've got a look at my finished page here along with a few close-ups. I hope that these past couple of videos going through Taylor's In Christ devotional cards have um, been encouraging to you. Of course with remembering our identity in Christ and also with regards to Bible journaling. We don't have to make something new and extreme and remarkable every single time we sit down. And also, if we make a mistake, it's really no big deal. There's probably a good way to fix it. 
So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you soon.